everybody, thanks for tuning in. My name is Drayton Michaels. I'm a dog trainer, behavior technician. And today I'd like to talk to you about why modern dog training, which is positive dog training, which is force-free dog training, why that is the best way to motivate your dog. Of course, you can motivate your dog with fear and pain, and you can change certain behaviors, but what is left in its place? That's always the question. Dogs generalize fear better than anything. And fear is the underlying cause for aggression. And nobody wants to create aggression in their dog, so why use fear and pain? Why would you want to teach a dog with fear and pain? When you don't have to, number one. And number two, because it's a generalized association, fear is a generalized association, you have a higher risk of causing aggression, stress, anxiety, and also ruining the bond with your dog. They may not trust you or other people or other dogs. Remember, dogs are associating to everything in their environment at all times. And if they have an association to a stimulus or to an environment that predicts fear and pain, yeah, they may stop doing something, but that is suppression. You haven't taught them anything new. You haven't taught them any coping skills. All you've done is shut them down and increased the chance of aggression. Using fear and pain is a slippery slope because you don't know exactly what the dog will associate that harsh aversive to. So if you're choking or shocking your dog or yelling at them or reprimanding them or jabbing at them, they may stop doing the thing you don't want them to do, but what's left in its place is more fear and potentially more aggression. That's risky. No good human beings get a dog and say, I can't wait to yell at him. I can't wait to choke him. I can't wait to shock him. But people do. Good people with bad information. The good information is do not use fear and pain. Use the modern way, which is positive reinforcement, kind consequences, and making sure that your dog feels safe. Training dogs isn't difficult. Environments are difficult. There's no bad dogs, only bad information and bad environments. Here's an easy way to remember how to deal with challenging environments. Number one, manage the environment. That usually means some sort of distance or removal or avoidance. If you have a dog who's fearful with a bite history, you may already be practicing these procedures and protocols. But many people have dogs who are simply frustrated or overly excited and they're not understanding due to bad information that if you maintain some distance, if you create distance, if you use removal and avoidance, you will reduce those unwanted behaviors. Remember, behavior that's rehearsed becomes stronger, and humans are the biggest variable in a dog's learning experience. For instance, if you have a challenging dog in the home, gate them into a room, or have them in another part of the house, or possibly if you have a secured fence backyard, have them outside if the weather is in your favor. This will alleviate that stress of people entering the home. And this is good advice for people who have dogs with no bite history, but might be a little bit scared or sketched out or not sure of people who are coming in to work on your home or people they've never met. So remember, removal, distance, avoidance, those three things can help with many challenging environments when dogs have fear, aggression, stress, frustration, or anxiety. When you're in public, practice maximum dog etiquette. What is this? This is you are aware of your environment at all times and you make the moves so that everybody outside, everybody that you're gonna encounter is not going to be bombarded by your dog or your dog isn't gonna be bombarded by stimulus that causes them fear or frustration and they wind up reacting or possibly shutting down. 90% of life with a dog is disengagement, meaning they're doing something and you don't want them to do it. So that leaves us with two cues to start teaching dogs right away. The leave it cue and the touch cue, which is hand targeting. Both of these cues will serve you very leave well it. throughout life with your dog in order for them to disengage from scent, to disengage from traffic, to disengage from other dogs, to disengage from people, to just generally disengage throughout life. So make sure you're teaching your dog leave it and touch. We're gonna produce a video on teaching Leave It In Touch, so check that out, it'll be out soon. If you love your dog, and of course you do, and if you care about your dog, of course you do, then don't cause them fear or pain in order to train them. Lose this idea that they have a moral imperative to disobey you, they don't. 
Dogs have the cognition of a three-year-old child by the time they are socially mature at age two. Three-year-old child brains do not have moral imperatives. They're just moving and doing stuff. Remember, for dogs, it's all about reinforcement or lack of reinforcement. Example, dogs find it very reinforcing to bark, jump, chase, dig, uh, run, chew, dissect. When all of those things are done in a legal way, then it works out for you and your dog. When they do occur, just remember, you gave your dog access to whatever they have. Dogs don't have the ability to know right from wrong. What dogs have the ability to know is safe, unsafe, neutral. And when dogs are taught disengagement cues and given common sense management, 90 to 95% of the issues kind of take care of themselves because now the humans are setting up the environment in a way where the dog has less opportunity to do those unwanted behaviors. What dogs know for sure is safe, unsafe, neutral. That's Pavlovian conditioning. We have centuries of research on this. It is not disputed, it is not my opinion. It is absolutely how dogs associate to every environment and every stimulus they encounter. Neutral means they know it's there, but they don't care. Unsafe is on a spectrum. And safe means they feel great and they're ready to go. And those are the three things that dogs are always attaching to all of their experiences. So don't cause them fear and pain because you will increase the chance that they will associate things fearfully when they don't have to and you'll rise the risk of aggression. Stop listening to TV shows and idiots on the internet who are trying to sell you prong collars and shock collars or tell you your dog has some sort of moral imperative to disobey you. Those people don't know what they're talking about and they're not legitimate animal trainers. Legitimate dog trainers who practice force-free, positive reinforcement with kind consequences, we have a couple of axioms, and one of them is, if you wouldn't train a lion that way, don't train a dog that way. The other one is, if you wouldn't do it to a three-year-old, don't do it to a dog. So remember, don't cause your dog fear and pain in order to train and teach them. Do the modern training, which is positive reinforcement, force-free. It is always science forward, it is always humane, it's effective when you put it into practice. Remember, humans, us, we are the variable that matters most in teaching our dogs the things we want them to learn. Don't use fear and pain, use the modern way, which is positive reinforcement and kind consequences. This way you will not break that bond with your dog. Many dogs who get trained harshly and treated with fear and pain their bond is broken with their human and that is super sad and I don't want to see that happen to anybody so please again don't use fear and pain to train your dog it's the 21st century we have no shortage of options for people to learn about positive reinforcement kind consequences the modern way to train dogs it is safe and effective there are plenty of people out here who are great at teaching great at video making, they have websites, channels, do not fall into the trap thinking that your dog needs a heavy hand because you could end up ruining your dog and breaking your bond with them. When you train the modern way, you'll have a much more fulfilling life with your dog, you'll have less stress, and your dog will really appreciate it. Thanks for watching, I really appreciate it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Remember, train the modern way, which is force-free, positive reinforcement with kind consequences.